Tonight's talk of the train is the big change of plans. Let's see it. Here is the new plan for the L train tunnel work. Regular weekday service will continue, they promise, with only weekend and nighttime closures. Crews will do one tube at a time. That usually means a 20 minute wait for a train during work. Officials say it will take approximately 15 to maybe 20 months to complete this, and it hopefully will begin as planned probably in April. It was to be a 15-month complete closure of the L train from the Bedford Avenue stop in Brooklyn to the Manhattan end of the line at 8th Avenue in Chelsea. So what changed after two years of planning? Here's acting MTA chairperson Fernando Ferrer. And that was and in many quarters still is uh, a best practice in the rail industry, mass transit in the United States. Not so in much of the rest of the world, and certainly emerging technologies are beginning to offer us some new solutions. So this is a new solution. We, we're excited about it. In December, Governor Cuomo toured the L train tunnel it's called the Canarsie Tunnel, with engineers from Cornell and Columbia and the MTA. At a media briefing Thursday afternoon at his Midtown office, Cuomo says the new approach will streamline the necessary repairs. No, I am not in, ch in charge of the MTA. Yes, I did ask this group. I convened this group. I got them access. I facilitated their research. They came up with their conclusion. They presented it to the MTA. There will be a lot of uh, remodeling and reinforcing rather than rebuilding an entire structure, which tends to have been the way that the MTA has done things, still always with an eye on safety. As for some of the transit plans, lengthening the G train, increasing the M, bus service on 14th Street. They're going to look at applying some of those moving ahead. I'll be checking in uh, with you again at 6 o'clock and at 10, where we go from here. Live along the aisle, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.